And good morning. I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now coming to you from our digital desk. That sound means it is Thursday and it's time for another edition of Cuyahoga's Most Wanted. These are individuals who are fugitives. They have warrants out for their arrest through the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department. We work with Crime Stoppers of Cuyahoga County to feature three fugitives every week. Got a pretty good success rate, uh, running about 33%, meaning out of the three of the fugitives we're about to show you, one tip could come in and lead to their arrest. They are innocent until proven guilty, but they face some very serious charges and they need to answer to those charges in a court of law. We're going to bring in, as we do every week, uh, Detective Red Dyer. Detective, how are you today? Excellent, Dan. How are you doing? It's good. It's good to have you. Uh, three more fugitives. We don't ever seem to run out of uh, fugitives. You guys must have a stack of them over there. Oh, yeah. We. Oh, there's so many to go through. <laughs> uh, we're going to start, uh, and there's a little bit of theme today with uh, recognizable tattoos on all three of our suspects that are out there. This first one kind of baffles my mind. He's religious enough to get uh, praying hands and the word blessed on the side of his neck, but apparently not religious enough. He's got prior domestic violence convictions. He's got another one that he's got a warrant out for as well as aggravated arson. This is an interesting case. Let's walk through uh, what we know about Raymond Evans Jr. Well, Dan, uh, I wanted to start by saying that not only is Mr. Evans Jr. wanted by uh, Cuyahoga County and Crime Stoppers, but he's also wanted in connection with the U.S. Marshals. Um, reports state that Evans actually pushed the victim to the floor in this case and kicked them several times in the face and body, including uh, burning them with a lit cigarette. Um, it's also alleged that he took the victim's car. He's wanted in another case for attempting to set, well, setting fire to a, uh, an occupied home. So very scary situation there. And like uh, you stated, he actually has a history of domestic violence with the Sheriff's Department. In 2011, for instance, he pled guilty to attempted aggravated assault and domestic violence. Uh, where reports state that he assaulted the victim with a wrench. In uh, 2017, he pled guilty to domestic violence, where reports in that case state he broke the victim's TV and began punching them repeatedly. The victim actually had bruises to their eye, shoulder, and arm and had to go to Metro for treatment. Uh, as you mentioned, he has distinctive tattoos of praying hands and blessed. Uh, I, he should be considered violent and extremely dangerous. He has a criminal history dating back to 2003 with our department, and uh, also has a warrant with Cleveland for arson. So he's approximately 5'8 and 160 pounds. He has the identifying tattoos, and he was last known to be staying in the 9500 block of Orleans Ave on the east side of Cleveland. Our fugitives love their tattoos. Uh, we're not picking on anybody with a tattoo, but it just seems to go hand in hand uh, just about every week. Uh, and that includes our next sex offender with some noticeable tattoos. We're going to talk about Eric Haynes. What do we know? Well, Dan, uh, Mr. Haynes is required to register with the Sheriff's Department as a Tier 1 offender due to a 2017 plea to attempted promoting prostitution. Uh, he has an extensive history as well, dating back to 2003 with our department. Uh, for instance, in 2019, he pled guilty to burglary and attempted felonious assault, very serious charges. Uh, he has various facial tattoos and full sleeves on both his left and right arms. Uh, I wanted to note he may be driving a gold Honda Accord and he also has a warrant with the Adult Parole Authority. He's approximately 5'6 and 136 pounds and was last known to be staying in the 4000 block of Bush Ave in Cleveland. Some interesting uh, tattoos above the eyebrows. That's an interesting look. Red, you may want to look into that. Uh, you could uh, put Cuyahoga and County uh, above each eyebrow. You may want to go that direction. It's uh, to I'll each their own. It. Yeah, to each their own. Uh, next up, uh, another neck tattoo fugitive. Uh, we've got Augustin Hernandez Jr. What do we know? Well, Augustus, Augustin Hernandez Jr., excuse me, may be known also as Carlos Ortiz. In uh, 2022, uh, he pled guilty to aggravated theft and receiving stolen property, meaning of a motor vehicle, meaning he was found with a stolen motor vehicle in two separate incidents. In uh, one case, reports state that Mr. Hernandez took the victim's car, which was a 2014 Chevy Traverse, while they were sleeping. Uh, reports also state that he stole, stole several electronics and two large TVs from a local business in another case. Uh, he has the distinctive neck tattoos of musical notes, and he also has an active warrant with Brooklyn for petty theft, so a little theme there. Mr. Hernandez Jr. is 5'5 and 160 pounds, and he was last known to be staying in the 4,000 block of Sackett Ave 
in the Clayton, uh, Clayton Bolton neighborhood, excuse me, in Cleveland. Get this gentleman in front of a judge. He may sing a different tune, Mr. Augustin Hernandez Jr. Again, they're all innocent until proven guilty, but they do all face some serious charges and need their day in court. Red, let's walk through the process. We talk about this every week, and if people are watching this on Facebook, simply sharing this video will mean more and more people will see it. Uh, it may uh, get to just the right person who can call in a tip for an arrest. That helps clean up our community. These are individuals, uh, as you've seen, they have multiple convictions. Uh, if they are out on the street, who knows what they're doing? Why should people not be afraid to call in a tip to Crime Stoppers? Well, Dan, like I like to say every week, uh, we don't have caller ID. We don't take your name or phone number. It's completely anonymous and everything's referenced through a tip number. And in the beginning, I remember you mentioned that we have success with this program, which is true. Not to, uh, And even the tips that we get that don't lead to an immediate arrest are still valuable information on these uh, subjects. Uh, like, you know, like we discuss every week, people with warrants tend to not want to be found, so they often move around. Uh, every tip we get is valuable to us. And it's important to know that, uh, Red, you've developed uh, a message for uh, some of these individuals and a message for our viewers. What do you want to share? It's that crime doesn't pay, Dan. Crime Stoppers does. Absolutely does. You could be eligible for up to a $5,000 reward if your tip leads to an arrest. And think about what you're doing to help your community by getting some of these individuals off the street and into a courtroom. Uh, Detective Red Dyer, as always, uh, thank you for your time. We know you're busy. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Dan. All right, take care. Uh, wanted to bring you this week's Cuyahoga's Most Wanted. Again, this has become an incredibly successful tool for Crime Stoppers of Cuyahoga County, the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department, and here at Cleveland 19 News. We are committed to helping clean up our streets just as you are. If we have any other breaking news, we're going to bring it to you here on our digital platforms. We have our 11 o'clock news starting in just a few minutes on CW43. Then you can see our, and actually I don't think we have new news today. I think we have NCAA basketball. It is March Madness tournament time. So our news is going to be interrupted from time to time. I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now. Have a good weekend. Have a good St. Patrick's Day and be safe. 19 News is everywhere. Download our CTV apps and follow us on social media 